Hi, I'm Dr. Vaishnavi Pochneni. I'm a nephrologist here at Preeti Hospital for Kidney and Neurology Care, Tudat Pali Branch. What is chronic kidney disease and what are the risk factors uh, that cause it? Chronic kidney disease is usually a slow decline in kidney function that happens at least over a period of three months. And what causes chronic kidney disease? Several factors. Some are modifiable, uh, that's like diabetes, that's uncontrolled or diabetes that you have been having for a very long period of time. Uh, you have uncontrolled blood pressure, you have heart problems uh, or you are taking a bunch of pain medications called NSAIDs. Some of these factors definitely cause uh, kidney problems. Uh, there are a bunch of other factors, those are called non-modifiable risk factors. Say you have a genetic disease where your parents or grandparents have had polycystic kidney disease, uh, you have chronic glomerulopathies you have uh, urinary tract issues or you have uh, problems with the way the structure of the kidney itself is. So these also cause a chronic kidney disease. How do we diagnose it? Uh, we have to do a bunch of blood tests, urine tests and an ultrasound to get a reasonably good idea as to what is happening with the kidneys uh, and how best to treat them. In some cases, you tend to require uh, something called as a kidney biopsy or a renal biopsy where we take a small tissue, small piece of the uh, kidney and we examine it under the microscope to get a better idea. It's usually a, considered a low risk procedure. Uh, once we get an idea of all this, that's when we diagnose someone with uh, chronic kidney disease or with an acute kidney injury. So when kidneys lose function, when they lose around 85 to 90 percent of the kidney function over time, and when we deem that the kidneys themselves are unable to protect the patient uh, just by being there, that's when we call that uh, as a renal failure or end stage kidney disease or kidney failure or chronic kidney disease stage 5 requiring dialysis. You might have heard different names for these, but these are essentially the same thing telling that patient uh, tends to, patient is requiring dialysis and he will not survive uh, without being on dialysis. Uh, at this stage, there are usually two options, one being dialysis, where a machine cleanses your blood and uh, puts it back in your body versus a transplant. Whenever we have a choice and when we think the patient is fit enough, we usually recommend transplantation for the patient over dialysis. This is for a few factors, uh, some of them being uh, he tends to, uh, patients who have transplant uh, tend to have lower dietary restrictions. Uh, they tend to have better quality of life, they tend to have uh, a lower risk of death, they tend to live longer and uh, also the cost of transplantation itself is a bit on the lower side compared to dialysis. Uh, when you consider five, say five years of dialysis versus uh, just the transplant uh, procedure itself. When we do that, uh, so transplant itself is not a curative process uh, but it's uh, as close to cure as you can get. Because without kidneys, patients cannot live. Just like uh, you can't live without the heart, you can't live without uh, a brain, without the liver. You need your kidneys to stay alive. And when we get someone else's kidney, put it in your body, uh, it's, takes, it takes few risk factors for that uh, procedure itself. There are risks associated with the surgery. There is a risk factor for uh, the recurrence of the primary disease. Whatever your primary disease caused, uh, uh, caused the end-stage renal failure in you, it could come back and cause a similar uh, problem in the patient themselves. Uh, it could also be from rejection, uh, where uh, the body says no to the new kidney that has been instilled in you. And uh, infections, because we are giving all these immunosuppressive medications to the patient after transplantation, uh, the body says, I can't tolerate uh, so much of immunosuppression, I might get an infection. So there are some risk factors. You have to make sure you take your medications, medications for suppressing your immune system and preventing uh, any infections. Uh, usually, usually primary kidney disease uh, recurrence is also pretty rare, except in FSGS. Uh, it is usually considered reasonably rare and transplantation is considered to be the better procedure even for such patients. The diagnosis of CKD is a bit of a challenge itself. Uh, you have to stay healthy, you have to stay active, you should make sure you get involved with your work, either home, work at home or uh, work in a workplace, 
make sure you stay active uh, you might need some person's help uh, some other person who has chronic kidney disease who is going to us through a similar problem or you might need us as physicians we're always here to help you uh, we wish you all a good happy and a healthy life thank you